This is the Retro Photonics Owl 640N low noise visible sphere camera. And today I'm going to be showing you how it runs with the Eurasis Camport Gig E. And what I'm about to demonstrate will be similar for all Raptor cameras that are supported by the Eurasis software. Now, first I'm going to show you the connections on the back of the L640N. We have the power connector, the trigger in, the trigger out, and the SDR camera link connector. And on the cam port, you'll have the auxiliary connector, which will actually provide power along with some triggering options, the MDR camera link connector, and the Gigi port. So to run your Raptor Photonics camera with the Eurasis cam port, you want to first run your Sphinx GEV viewer. That'll start the communication with the, with the Eurasis device. Now, when you first open it, you'll have to click on the Discovery button. And as you can see here, it finds the cam port device. You'll then click Open and allow it to communicate. Once the Sphinx viewer is, is loaded, you want to confirm that the width and the height are set properly for your camera. Now, in addition, you'll want to confirm that it's set to the correct bit output of the camera. You can now see if you're connected properly to the camera by clicking on the grab button here. This will now produce a live image for your Raptor camera. The Sphinx software will be your viewer. Now, if you want to control the settings of their camera, what you need to do is click on the Eurus Serial Communication Program, also known as GrabLink. Now, once that's open, you'll select under Available Ports, your GEV cam port, and under Available Camera Options, the L640N. So I'll connect that and click Open Port. I can now run the two programs in tandem with the Sphinx viewer showing the image from the camera link camera and the GrabLink software to control the operations of the camera itself. If you're interested in these options, you can reach us at sales at raptorphotonics.com or visit our website at www.raptorphotonics.com.